Hello guys, Viscous Zeta here, and today we are taking a look at a mobile suit and action figure, which is what it's called in Japan, but in America it's just plain called an action figure. Uh, obviously, I've been in Gundam, or most Americans for us, since Gundam Wing came out, and that's how a lot of my generation got into Gundam, but now it's just died in America because there hasn't been any more to keep refreshing people's interests. Like, Pokemon's still strong because... They're still showing kids Pokemon so they can grow up into Pokemon again and again and again. And But Gundam has just died off now. Of course, Gundam was never a kid's show, but of course it has a great market for children. So here we're taking a look at an action figure which came out in the later life of the Gundam. It was right whenever you know Gundam was dying down. You'd walk into a toy store and you'd see Gundam action figures marked down and bargained. And that's why I got this. And this is a very nice figure, to say the least. I'd say the action figure is about 1 to 200 scale. They're smaller than a high grade. For size comparison here, um, well, let me grab a high grade real quick. Okay, for size comparison, we'll take a look here at the RX-78 1 to 144 scale. And just standing straight up, you can see that it's only about up to its shoulder. In fact, a little bit sh shorter than the shoulder here, to the side. And that's very nice right there, so yeah. And then he's got, obviously, for accessories, you can see he's got the Buster Rifle and the Shield, and he's got a Beam Saber. So we'll just take a look at him. We'll take this stuff off, and we'll just take a look at him, see what his articulations are, and uh, what not. Now, for an action figure, he's designed for play, so obviously he's going to work very well in that aspect. You see, he's got his hands rotating 100%, 360. Both hands do that. His little claws come out. Watch out, watch out, I'm going to cut you up. And then he's got a rotation in his shoulders, full 360. You just got to pull the shoulder back. His legs move in and out, back and forth. And they can, all the parts can... Durr, maybe I shouldn't force it. <laughs> All the parts should be able to come off and go back on fairly smoothly and simply. And uh, this figure does transform. So yeah, for the colors, you've got the uh, Sand and Wing Gundam colors. You've got the blue, you got the blue right here, you got the yellow, you got the green on the chest, you got the head pieces that are red, you got white all the rest of the body, we're red on the feet. And yeah, so this is a pretty nice model. Not model, action figure. But yeah, so anyways... Wing spans, expands here, and uh, let's show off some of his cool little poses he can do. See, you got the beam saver there. Mine suffers from limp plastic syndrome. Might need some plastic Viagra. <laughs> I get it because it's a. You know, oh, shut up. Anyways, here we got uh, this beam saver here, and uh, so yeah. It's a pretty nice figure. I mean, you could still buy this figure from Japan like you do the models because chances of finding it in America you could still probably find it and if you find it, it's probably dirt cheap but yeah so anyways I'm gonna transform here we'll show you the transformation alright I've already done half the transformation just because it's a little not very time consuming but pretty much you the waist will start off turned around obviously you turn the waist 180 degrees and put the feet in so they're like that pointed out pull the hands out of the mobile suit and then pull the claws down and then pull the shoulders down just so they you know from like that to that and then this little gray piece will pop out and then spread the wings and turn the head around 180 degrees and at least as far as I remember but anyways we'll take now the shield and the buster rifle that I can keep in my hands and you'll place it in here in the little peg and booyah you got yourself a shield buster rifle combo and then you will plug it into its back right here. So you've got a little peg. And it goes in the middle here, I think. Yes. If I can get it. And there you go. Bird mode. At least that's kind of what bird mode's supposed to look like. Um, The shield doesn't stay in very well. And it's obviously, if the shield keeps falling off, it's not going to look that good. But, I'll try again. There you go. Bird mode in a small transformable action figure. 
I didn't expect it to be that great because I'm usually going to, it's not that fun to just fly it around in bird mode. It'd be tedious to, it's like playing with Transformers, it's tedious to transform every five minutes whenever you want to, for the sake of your imagination. So I just keep it in mobile suit mode. So we'll just turn them back here. There we go, much quicker to turn them back and then you just pop the hands back in, which I'm not going to do because I'm pretty much almost done with this. But yeah, that is the Wing Gundam mobile suit in action figure. I say I give it a four out of five stars. It, it has minimal accessories. I think it has some extra hands and stuff too. But it that's what it has, you know. It doesn't have that many accessories in the show and stuff. And it is a fan favorite mobile suit. So you can't go wrong with this figure. But then again, maybe you could have go a little bigger. <sighs> that's all you're getting right now. Stay tuned for the next review.